Hey guys, I'm headed down to um, San Antonio right now from Austin with a folder full of new short-term rental permits uh, for a handful of STRs that we have down there. Um, and I kind of wanted to do a quick video. I have this conversation with so many clients, so I figured I'd make a video and that way we can kind of recycle the conversation. But um, what makes a viable and a, uh, a good short-term rental? In our experience, it hasn't been those vacation style rentals. There's two main schools of thought when it comes to STRs. Um, the first is the vacation destination cut type of a stay, and that's what everybody kind of thinks of. I think uh, when you first start looking into um, being an STR operator or investor, um, the second is I call it a utilitarian or a functional use kind of uh, short term rental. Um, that's for people who not necessarily like they, they don't necessarily like want to be in the area. It's not a destination. The Airbnb is not a destination for that guest. Uh, but they have to be in town for a certain reason. Um, there's six main industries that will draw this type of guest. And I'm sure there's more, but here's like the six general ones that I found across most of the markets here in Texas. Um, you've got uh, military, medical, um, corporate housing. You have, uh, let's see, military, medical, corporate housing, university housing. You'll also have um, downtown tourism industries. For example, San Antonio has the Alamo and the Riverwalk and, and the Pearl District, like uh, 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 attractions like that. Um, and then uh, international airports are, have been huge for us. Anywhere with an international airport presence um, is going to have a lot of traffic in and out that will use these functional style um, units. So uh, what did I say? Universities. Um, corporate style housing, military, medical, downtown tourism, and international airports. Yeah, got all six. So those are like the, the big drivers. And what we look for is a location that has like four, five, hopefully all six of those industries in close overlapping proximity. So that way your unit can pull in guests, fill each one of those demographics. Um, what we found has been our occupancy rate over the course of the entire year has been relatively stable. We don't see the big dips and uh, spikes with our occupancy like we do with the vacation style rentals. Like we'll see peaks in May and June and then in the, uh, in the, in the, um, the, toward the end of summer around August into September and October. We don't see those peaks like we do in, uh, in, in the vacation style market when we're investing in these utilitarian short term rental stays. Now, the demographic that you're investing for or that you're get, that you're marketing toward isn't necessarily looking for a giant four or five bedroom house. Um, the majority of people who are staying are either single or at most they're a couple. So you don't want to over invest for the type of guest that you're aiming to attract. One bedroom units, two bedroom units have been ideal. Um, and where do you get the most bang for your buck in terms of one and two bedroom units? And the answer is multifamily housing. So um, duplexes, triplexes, quadplexes, single family houses that have a guest house on, on site, um, those have been our bread and butter to execute on this type of model. Um, there, you have to, of course, look through the, uh, the STR like regulations. San Antonio in particular, um, uh, doesn't allow any more than 12 and a half percent of the units available on any given block face, um, to receive a short term rental permit. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. If you're going for a quadplex and you want to get all four of those units, um, an STR permit, you have to keep in mind how many units are available on the block face. Will, um, is your quad even going to be eligible to receive all four? Most of the time you can get at least one, if not two. Uh, but getting all four, I found can be tricky unless you've got a super high debts block. Uh, so anyway, that's the utilitarian short term rental model. We've had a lot of success with it. I'll go ahead and post some real numbers from the uh, from those uh, properties that we manage and own, um, that Kendall and I manage and own, and uh, they've done really well for us. On average, we're seeing between an 88 to a 93% occupancy rate, depending on which specific area of town the units are in, um, and anywhere from about $90 a night as our ADR, all the way up to about 140. So they're lower price point units, um, but each one of these things, you know, each one of these triplex or quadplex um, deals is pulling in almost 200K a year. So it's a super viable model. We've done a, 
really well with it. And uh, a lot of my clients have executed at a high level on this model as well. Um, so happy to uh, answer any kind of additional questions that y'all have and, um, and just be a general resource going forward as you guys start to explore uh, the short-term rental market uh, down in San Antonio.